Hello, it's Sachin Globe. How are you? Very good. Good, Don. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So uh, it looks like you're having a great race with Maiden at the moment. Exactly. We're very close. We can almost say hello to them. Yeah, it looks interesting, eh? And what's the conditions like? You must be working very hard. Yes. Yeah. When you see a boat close to you, you you know energy goes up, and you want to show uh, that we can be faster. And we have Sophia at the helm now, and she's doing a great job. So it looks like we're gaining a little bit in the last hour. Yeah, okay. So can you describe the conditions and what sails you've got up and what's happening right now? Uh, so, so the condition, we have wind coming from south, about six knots of wind, and we're starting at almost six knots, so the almost the speed of, uh, of, of the wind. Uh, the blue sky, some clouds are out, and uh, no waves, can't see. Yeah, and what about the temperature? It must still be hot. <laughs> so, the precise moment is okay, and I think uh, we experienced the uh, worst, I hope. It was extremely hot, and so hot that people were finding very creative way to go to sleep, trying to find all the places in the boat where the boats are here. It was a little too much, sweating liters of water uh, every day. Staying hydrated, it was a challenge. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. So these these phone calls come around very fast. Like one week for us seems quick. How, how do you feel on board? Like is time moving fast or slow? I need to do on. Repeat. repeat. Uh, do you think time is moving fast or is time moving slow for everyone on board? I depends. I think uh, I think everyone has got a different perception of, of time. Uh, and uh, during the last days, uh, for, for me personally, it was very, very slow. And, uh, and uh, then when we look back, it was really 15 days. So, so it looks a lot of time. So it goes up and down. I don't, I don't know. I can ask the feeling. How's your perception of the speed of time? <laughs> uh, he's here very happy. He says, I, I, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> he's in the flow. He doesn't think a lot. Just in the flow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. And so everyone's still happy on board. Like, uh, and how do you? How do you, as the as the sort of owner of the campaign, keep keep their keep their spirits high? So I have to say the morale is is so with the and we have a lot of fun, a lot of jokes. And uh, but the most one thing that helped the morale a lot for the last three days is that Vittorio and Heather from Maiden organized a blind dating trip. So Maiden. These uh, six ladies that are single, I think we have four uh, guys here who are single. So, Victorio and uh, another are applying to provide profile without uh, too much information for future dating in Cape Town. So, <laughs> everyone go on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a little bit of that. It's uh, uh, hearing a lot of wind noise, but um, I just heard the word future dating with Maiden in Cape Town. <laughs> Yes, there is blind dating. Uh, Vittorio and Heather are organizing a blind dating service on VHF. They provide profile of the person, and then uh, people have to choose their match. And they're going <laughs> for the blind date. Okay. Oh, we won't tell anyone at all about this. We'll keep it private, okay? <laughs> yes. As private as can be an internet communication like this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, so, so for you personally, Marco, what what's the single most uh, exciting thing or the single best thing for you that's happening now? You know. You know, I think for me, after so much preparation of this program, seeing that the that we're performing well, the world is going fast. Uh, I think it's a, it's a great, great satisfaction. Uh, it's, uh, it's really seeing that all the work that we did is coming to uh, to good use.
Yeah, I, I have to agree. And with all due respect, I, I think it's fair to say that I, uh, with respect, that I didn't think you'd be performing as well as you are. So congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yes, it, it, yes. I know exactly. Yeah, I hope you understand what I'm saying there. Yeah. This week. It's fantastic. Now, yeah, three sperm whales that came very, very close to the boat. One of them uh, very close and then uh, dived and went under the boat and appeared on the other side. I think we, we, we took a video of it, so we'll be sending it in the next slot uh, for you. Uh, we were not seeing a lot of, no, no dolphins, no flying fish, so there was no really, in my life, uh, in the dolphins here. But then when we saw the waves, it was a good, very, very good moment. Yeah. Has anyone gone for a swim yet? Have you stopped long enough for a swim? No, no, I don't think, I don't think Nico will ever allow us to this because this will slow down the boat by 0.1% <laughs> and that is unacceptable. Yeah. No fishing, not even fishing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just plenty of pasta rather than fresh fish. Yes, so we have these people doing secret plans to to stop at the canneries and, uh, and utilities, etc. but these are all uh, secret groups that are acting without without consensus from the others. But uh, as soon as we approach the island, then we forget to jump. Uh, and and so then we have to plan for the next island. I think St. Peter and Paul is our next opportunity. Okay. And all the systems on board are okay? Everything's working? Yeah, everything is working. Uh, all the systems and safety systems on board are working very well. We kept broken sails. And the last one we broke was the... A cell that we call the A2.5 is between the two A3 and A2, and it's taking about four days to repair it. So we broke the ring at the top and it exploded. So this is taking a lot of time, and because we are at the beginning of the race, uh, you know, we're a little worried. Uh, but uh, other than that, the safety systems are working great. Okay, so would you like to do an Italian report now? Just go ahead. Um, yes, so um, a, a tutte le persone che, che, che sono a casa e che ci stanno guardando volevamo dire che al solito stiamo dando il massimo eh, su, su questa regata, non vogliamo neanche un secondo. Uh, so che è difficile capire come sta andando la regata eh, perché le barche hanno tutti dei rating differenti, dei grandi rating differenti e quindi sappiamo che Penguin è davanti a noi eh, ma in tempo compensato pensiamo di essere ancora in ottima posizione quindi la sfida è ben aperta per questa prima tappa e un saluto a tutti, specialmente alle nostre famiglie I'm done Yeah, good, ok All right, well that's great, thank you Good to chat. Is there anything else you want to get across before we go? No, I think uh, we, um, yeah, there is one thing. Uh, so there is one other update uh, question, and then there is an admin uh, question at the end of the call uh, from Simon. Yes. Okay, so one, one other update. So because we want to target better our communication, we would like to understand what people at home are, are seeing. Uh, we, don't, we don't remember if in the yellow brick, they only see the line of honors, let's say, uh, or they can also see the compensated time ranking. So, oh yeah, they get they get everything. They get your position, your course, your speed, your uh, ranking uh, in line honors, and also your IRC ranking and your IRC ranking in flyer class. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. They get and, everything. Um, and perfect. And is it yellow grid configured? Uh, for for the compensated time just on Cape Town, or is there a waypoint? Uh, no, it, it, there is an there is an average estimated course, which is the track, okay, around to Cape Town, and so you mm -hmm. have both the velocity made good on the rum line, as well as okay. velocity made good over 24 hours. 
in a in a in a straight line, you know, in a GPS line. So there's a lot Perfect. of information that people receive. Okay, good. This will help us will help us in future communication to 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 provide updates that are also yes uh, written. Okay, I'm done on my part. And for the landing question, yes, uh, can I? Uh, can I? Uh, uh, sorry, there was one last thing before I. I, I mean, um, update on Triana. We know that you know I, I, we received the information that Stefani is, is good and is home, and we also know that they have no electricity. At all were people able to get in contact with them? Uh, yes, they have the solar panels, and so there's enough power to uh, for communication for their. Um, you know, for their tracker, and if they need to call us on the sat phone, so they are perfectly safe. But they can't send photos or videos, or um, and they may not use their HF radio very much. Okay, okay, happy, happy to know this. Okay, I'm um, uh, give me the phone to Simon for the admin question. Okay, Bye. no Thank worries, you. thanks, Marco. Hi, John, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, and you? You must be getting hot. <laughs> Wrong. But uh, I've had some acclimatisation uh, being across this way a couple of times recently. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what's happening? So uh, yeah, all's going well here. Uh, Don, I wonder if I, I have a request. Could I send you an SMS message over the sat phone uh, to send a message to Claire purely on a um, a legal matter that's going on at home? Uh, yes, no problem. Okay. Yeah, it'll be confidential. On, on, yes. On your direct one. Yes. No problem. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Okay. No worries. Okay. That's it. Good. All all good this end. Yeah. yeah. All right. Any any. Yep. No, nothing to report. Good. Everything's good here. So uh, we're you know having a great race. Good to see. In fact, I said to Mark, yeah, you're doing you're doing. Yeah, you're doing better than I ever expected. <laughs> No, I was wondering if you're heading to Cape Town soon. Oh, yeah, we'll be down there. We, we leave on the 8th. I think it was 7th of October. Uh, uh, 7th of October, I fly to Cape Town. Oh, okay, cool. That's great. We'll yeah. look forward to seeing you there. Okay. Stay safe. Good luck. Stay safe, everyone. See you later. Cheers, Tom. Yeah, bye-bye.